I'm Leanne Kiefer. I'm a dental hygienist and director of clinical education for Crosstex International. As a dental professional, I have one question to ask you. What day do you confirm? Biological monitoring is the gold standard that's used to monitor the sterilization process. The CDC recommendation is that we are using biological monitoring at least once a week in our dental practices. So what I want to review with this session is appropriate placement of an in-office biological monitor into the sterilizer. The important thing to remember first is that you need to use two vials, two biological monitoring tests with the in-office. One of the vials is going to actually be placed into the sterilizer as your test. The other one is going to be your control. So this one will not be placed into the sterilizer. It's important that you write certain information so that you can identify the brand of the sterilizer, the run of the day, the date, and the operator's initials. When writing on the vial, it's recommended that you use an approved marker that can be processed within a steam sterilizer. When you have the biological monitoring vial, I want you to note that there is a strip, a colored strip on the outside. This is actually a chemical indicator that's used as a process indicator because at the end of the sterilization cycle, that blue line should turn black, which means that this vial has already been processed. The confirm in-office biological monitor can only be used in a steam sterilization cycle. This particular confirm product cannot be used in dry heat, cannot be used in a chemiclave cycle. You have a choice. You can either place the vial directly into the sterilizer on the tray, or if you want to assimilate what you're doing with your instruments, you can also place it into a sterilization pouch. When you place the vial, you want to place it in the most challenging part of the sterilizer. That means the place that you're most likely to have an air pocket. That area is going to be on the bottom tray of the sterilizer. It's either going to be over the drain, which may be in the middle of some autoclaves. In other autoclaves, it's in the very back left-hand corner. The other place would be to position it by the door, where there may be an air leak if the gasket doesn't seal correctly. Again, you'll note that we're not placing it over any of the instruments. We're placing it in a single layer. We're going to place it paper side up because this is a gravity displacement sterilizer. At the end of the cycle, it's important that we wait 10 minutes because the liquid inside that vial is 121 degrees Celsius. After you've waited the 10 minutes, you'll take the test out of the steam sterilizer and the first thing that you're going to look at, did that blue chemical indicator strip turn black? You will then add the control vial from the same box, the same lot number, and you will process them both in the incubator depending upon if you have a 10 hour or a 24 hour product, which we'll talk about in our next video.